How we all doing? Welcome back to my channel, Am God of the Way. Okay, so I got a special video for you guys today. The do's and don'ts when it comes to manifesting a specific person, okay? Now, over the last three plus years that I've been mentoring, coaching people, I've helped a plethora of people manifest their specific person for a better relationship, better commitment, more romance, marriages, and pretty much everything in between. I myself have manifested multiple SPs, romantic interests, friends, family, celebrities, clients, and everyone in between, all right? So I've learned a couple of things over the course of the time that I have been engaging with this and helping people manifest their specific people. So we're going to hop right in with the first do, okay? The first do is allowing yourself to be deeply clear about what it is that you want to experience with your specific person. And I'm not talking about no half-assed sense of clarity, right? So if I were to ask you, hey, what do you deeply desire to experience with your specific person? My son, my daughter, what do you desire to experience? You're going to be like, most likely, oh, I want to be committed to this person. I want them to love me. I just want to be with them. I want to grow old with them. You know, I want to have their babies, you know, the typical stuff. And that's cool and all, but that's not deep clarity, okay? Anybody that desires a specific person for a romantic, you know, uh, relationship or something of that nature would be able to answer in that way. Now, you take it up a notch and it's like, okay, now you get asked the question, what do you deeply desire to experience with this specific person? Oh, I deeply desire to experience us being whole and complete within ourselves, happy, at peace, filthy rich, living in a beautiful house with five beautiful children, three boys and two girls, living the life that we desire to experience. Everybody is treating us in a beautiful, beautiful way. And we have the most romantically amazing relationships, last marriage of our lives, growing old together forever and always for all of eternity. You see how that was, man? I literally just got that all off, right off the dome, right off the spot. Didn't have to think about it. Didn't have to take my time involving it. It just flowed out. It just came right out naturally because I'm clear about what it is that I want. I'm in that place of clarity. I know what I want. I know how I want to feel. I know what I want my life to look like, right? So that's what I mean is take the time to identify what it is that you want when it comes to your desires, how you want to feel, who you want to be, and what you want to experience lifelong, okay? If you have to really think about it, then you're not there yet. If you have to really logically think about it, like, um, you know, I, I want this, but, you know, maybe I want this. Uh, I'm not, mm, I don't know. Uh, you're not there yet, okay? So that's a do. And when it comes to a don't, it's the opposite. A don't is rushing into your manifestations with lackluster clarity, barely knowing what you want to experience, barely knowing how you want to feel, what those feelings look like for you and what you want your life to look like, barely knowing who you want to be in relation to it. That is pretty self-explanatory. I don't need to dive too deep into that, I feel like. But yeah. A do is being absolutely clear to the best of your ability involving who you want to be, how you want to feel, what your life, what you want your life to look like, um, what your life looks like, as well as everything else. And uh, a major don't is the exact opposite of that, all right? Not being clear involving who you want to be, how you want to feel, etc. So now let's hop into another do. A major do when it comes to manifesting a specific person is developing a routine for yourself. A healthy routine, okay? Something that you enjoy to do. Something that you enjoy to proceed along with. Now, is it necessary? No. Am I saying that if you don't have a routine, you won't get results? No. Am I saying it's going to be insanely helpful? Absolutely, 100% to infinity and beyond. You want to develop a routine for yourself. Something that you can commit yourself to easily and effortlessly. Something that you enjoy to do to proceed along with. Something that you love, okay? something that inspires and motivates you. So for example, uh, one of the first things I do in the morning is I drink a nice fresh glass of water and I do my affirmations while I'm drinking the water and I really allow myself to enjoy it. While I'm drinking the water, I close my eyes. By me drinking this water, all of my desires are fulfilled. By me drinking this water, I am in perfect health, you know, things like that. And then I go use the bathroom, I come right back in here. I throw on some meditation sounds, right? 
and for like 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes, however long I feel, and sometimes I'll maybe even set an alarm on my phone so I don't get too carried away. Get it, girl. Get it, boy. You know what I'm saying? And I will just do my affirmations or ask affirmations for that duration of time covering different topics. Love, relationships, money, whatever I feel in the moment. And then after that, I'll do a little bit of scripting. You know, I'll script out a couple of things that I'd like to experience that day or in general from the standpoint that I have now received it. I have now received a large sum of unexpected money appear in my bank account. I have now received video going viral. I have now received five new high paying clients, you know, things like that. And then that's my running routine. I keep it simple. I keep it short to the point, clean and everything in between. Now, that's what I mean. Okay. Develop a routine for yourself. Now, if you are having difficulties with any of this, like getting, you know, being clear, getting clear, gaining clarity, you know, figuring out a healthy routine, then reach out to me. I am very proficient when it comes to helping people develop a routine for themselves, as well as gaining clarity over what they want to experience and everything in between. Okay. So that's a major do. A major don't is um, just hopping into it, hoping that things fall into place for you or wishing that things fall into place for you, you know, just hopping into it with no direction or no sense of self-guidance in relation to it in any way, shape or form. That's exactly what you don't want to do because that just may lead you down a path of potential confusion, frustration, among other things. So you want to avoid that altogether. Develop the routine for yourself. Trust me, it'll be well worth it. Okay. And the final point that I have here for you, the final do when it comes to manifesting is to work on your self identity. Okay. Now, what do I mean by work, quote unquote, on your self identity? Basically, you want to be engaged. Now, having a routine is going to help with this. Being clear is going to help with this. You want to have yourself on the pedestal. You want to have yourself in a position to where you're engaging with the meditations or the affirmations daily, okay, that employ your desires fulfilled and employ a newfound self-identity, okay? So instead of just walking around aimlessly, half-assing it, quote-unquote, trying to make something happen, which is the same equivalent to assuming that you don't trust, that you don't believe, that you don't have and acting with force you don't want to try to manifest you want to just do it with trust and faith that it's benefiting you but um instead of just aimlessly walking around as a version of themselves that is not chosen not feeling chosen not feeling worthy etc etc you want to be engaging with something daily that's going to employ that you are worthy employ that you are chosen employ that you know that you have your desires and everything in between that you know that you're happily married and everything in between Okay, or that you have the incredible money or the incredible health and again, everything in between. Okay, um, and that is going to help you out a lot. So you want to do what you can to really shift your self identity. I prefer guided meditations, affirmations that employ that um, self identity fulfilled. So example, like I said, if you have um, an identity where you're clinging on to the assumption, the belief and so on that you are not chosen, you want to create a couple of affirmations that employ the opposite of that um, or utilize a couple of meditations guided meditations or sleep tapes huge fan of sleep tapes um, that employ the opposite of that and you want to stay consistent committed and persistent until it feels natural until you start naturally assuming that this is who you are on a day in day out basis you want to get yourself to the point where it's so natural it's as natural as taking a sh or piss in the morning it's as natural as breathing that's the level you want to get yourself to all right and of course, the last don't is the last don't is choosing to half asset and not engage with what needs to be engaged with, quote unquote, throughout the day that employs a healthy sense of a healthy self identity. OK, and that one's pretty self-explanatory, too. I feel like I don't need to get too in depth with that. Don't half asset. Stop trying to make something happen and just make it fucking happen with faith and trust. OK. Go all out with it. Make a commitment to yourself. Be consistent. Choose. Decide. And stick to it. All right? For one-on-one -on -one support, reach out to me. I will help you. I will help you manifest what you want. Okay? All the information will, will, will be posted in the first pinned comment down below. All right? You heard that? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs>
All right, much love and peace. Have a beautiful rest of your day, guys, and take care.